Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our enchanting tale. Picture this, a town square transformed into a canvas of magic, where the air is thick with the scent of pine and lanterns cast flickering shadows on the snow. At the heart of it all stands Clara Whitmore, her bright blue eyes wide with wonder as she watches snowflakes dance down from the heavens. The townsfolk have gathered, their faces illuminated by the ethereal light, a tapestry of emotions woven into the fabric of the evening. Laughter mingles with the soft murmur of conversations, but beneath the surface, a current of tension ripples through the crowd. Oh, but here's where it gets really juicy. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into this magical evening. Now, this reminds me of those classic tales where tradition meets the unknown. Mayor Eleanor Graves, with her sharp features and stern expression, stands at the forefront. Her presence is commanding, yet there's an unease about her. You can see her hands trembling slightly as she clutches her speech, the paper crinkling under the pressure of her grip. Eleanor has always been a bastion of tradition, her no-nonsense demeanor a shield against the unknown. But tonight, the snowfall has stirred something deep within her, a fear of the changes that might come with the magic enveloping the town. As Clara steps closer, she feels the warmth of old man Jeb's presence beside her. The grizzled historian, with his twinkling eyes and worn coat, whispers to Clara about the snow spirit, the embodiment of their memories. It's a moment of revelation, a chance to confront the shadows of their past. But what if I told you that Clara, with her heart racing with anticipation, decides to stand up for the magic that has brought them all together? As the mayor begins to speak, her voice trembles, echoing the uncertainty that hangs in the air. We must not forget who we are, Eleanor declares, her eyes scanning the crowd. But Clara sees the flicker of doubt in the townsfolk's eyes, the way they lean in closer, drawn by the allure of the unknown. The snow spirit is not a threat. It is a promise of healing, a chance to confront the shadows of their past. Clara feels a surge of courage, a determination to stand up for the magic. Mayor Graves, Clara's voice rings out, surprising even herself. What if the snowfall is not something to fear? What if it is a chance for us to remember, to heal? The townsfolk murmur, a wave of uncertainty washing over them. But Clara can see the spark of hope igniting in their eyes. The snow spirit, hidden among the falling flakes, seems to shimmer in agreement. Its presence a gentle reminder of the power of memory and community. Yeah, you thought it was over, think again. As Clara stands there, her voice steady and resolute, she feels the weight of the town's history shift. The air is thick with the promise of revelation and the healing that awaits them all. The townsfolk, once filled with doubt, now see the spark of hope igniting in their eyes. The snow spirit, hidden among the falling flakes, seems to shimmer in agreement. Its presence a gentle reminder of the power of memory and community. It's a moment of transformation, a chance to embrace the magic of their past and look forward to a future filled with healing and unity. And with that, we wrap up chapter three. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us for more magical tales on Storyteller.